Just out with dog and slingshot doing a bit of target shooting. But I just wanted to tell you something about hunting. And if you if you wanted to hunt this and you felt your range weren't up to scratch, that your animals that you were hunting were too flighty, depending on how urban or how well you use trails are you hunt on or whatever, and this is a real good way to do it. You find an area where there are animals. Oh, I don't know if you saw that, but that were a magpie going up there. But you see there's a path down there. Now uh, rabbits and stuff will be on that path and I'm on higher ground and I've also got cover so I can stalk up to cover in fact there's a rabbit down there he's just gone in thing and now if I just like he's gone now because he can hear me but I've got a good place to shoot now down to that path whereas if I were just on flat land walking up to him they'd see me a mile off so yeah just a good a good way to get closer to your prey without actually uh, them spotting you. Just use the cover. Come on then, dog. Good girl. Another good tip, especially when hunting uh, birds, like pigeons, is... Um, uh, when I say urbanised, I don't mean in middle of central London. I mean like... Uh, they're on a path or next to a road and they're a bit used to people sometimes if this I've done this before if I've not had my slingshot out it's been in my pocket you see bird like let's pretend it's up there and then what you do is you turn your back to it because they're not daft and then slowly get out of your pocket slowly turn around try not to look at it as much as you can and then finally take your shot because they are they are not daft and squirrels as well they they'll do they like hunker down onto the tree and they think you can't see them so you just just don't look at them and uh, look away like and then get them like that it's a good technique that also take your dog with you do you take your dog or do you not now Sal she's obviously not a trained gun dog but she does one thing uh, she's not even like a good retriever really. Uh, she just does one thing that's really good is uh, she um, this has happened I think twice to me I've shot a pigeon and I've hit it on wing this top joint here and pigeons unable to fly away and now I would be able to catch it eventually but it might take me five minutes to get in bushes and wait for it to get enough blood loss to be able to catch it now she can just go jump straight and get it if it's but she'll not bring it back to me she'll just uh, kill it and sit with it generally that's what she'll oh another good thing that's what i'm going to tell you right, now this is obviously rabbit droppings but a good way of hunting birds at night which you're not supposed to do is you find a place on a path where an absolute shit ton of bird shite and then you look up and that's probably a bird's favourite roost so it just like mental picture in mind where there's a lot of crap and where there's crap there's uh, animals so yeah it's another good technique can you see this? oh my days that is pine sap looks like it's from that I'm gonna collect that and put it in a bag Right, I've got it absolutely everywhere. <laughs> All of them are nice, that's going to be hard to clean off. But, right, we've got a little bit of that pine sap there. I put a lot in a bag. I haven't got a ferro rod, so this is not going to be very bushcrafty. But we'll just see what happens. It's so sticky. Look. <laughs> right. It's melted a bit, but... Yeah, see, it will burn. It's it's not, it's like wax on a candle, isn't it? It's, it's better to be used in conjunction with a wick type thing, but yeah. It's definitely sap, trying not to burn my fingers. Yeah. It's definitely sap. Cool. Nice find. Oh, I'll show you how much I got. I, I could scrape it more, but I'm not gonna. Oh. Only someone's tapped this. Probably not. Might have shot it with an air rifle or something. 
So I've got quite a bit. Right. Cheers. See, it just shows you. Get your son out of here. Stuff like this is here to find. Yeah, I wonder if someone's tapped this. That's been removed, hasn't it, by someone. That's definitely above height or anything, and I don't think you'd get deer here. So, strange how they're all on path. Unless it's been shot at by an air rifle somewhere. So it does appear to be a little hole at the top of everything. I don't know. You tell me if you know best. Cheers. <laughs> I didn't really look, but it's still going after all that natural. So yeah, that's cool, isn't it? Good find. Yeah, I'm well happy with that. Nice one. Got it absolutely everywhere. Look at that. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha